Alright, uh, I'm sorry, I lied about the next video being animation. I first quickly wanted to go for our arrays and make sure they were working. I didn't want to give you guys something that just didn't work. So uh, let's create some inside of our main.js. Let's say var uh, tmp arr is equal to new array. And let's, let's pass in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And let's do a alert tmp array dot length. And let's alert it. It's 10. That's good. There's 10 numbers in there. So now let's try our remove. Let's say alert tmp arr dot uh, length again. And in between it, let's say tmp arr dot remove. And let's pass in 3. So the first time is 10. And the second time is 9. Great, it's removing a three. Now let's test our true. Let's add like three more threes in here, four more threes. So it says 14, now it says 13, all right? So let's pass in true at the end of this. Make sure that's working. It says 14, now it says nine, perfect. So it's removing all of the threes and our uh, decrement and, uh, and increment are working fantastic. Um, so, Yes, let's continue on. Let's make this a little more cooler. Let's say var str is equal to nothing, and then four uh, var i is equal to zero, i is less than tmpr.length, i plus plus, and then let's go str uh, plus equals um, tmpar. And let's duplicate this and put it down here and say str2. str2 is the same exact thing because we're going to move uh, this functionality, except for that top line, down. And we'll just say str. Then we'll remove. We'll add that to the next uh, thing and then we'll say str2. So hopefully that came out right. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and the next one should have no threes. There we go. All the threes are gone. So we know that's working. Let's insert a uh, let's insert a 10 in between 2 and 3. So that's 0, 1, 2. Uh, or is it 3? I think it's 3. So if I say um, insert at, and then we want to insert at three, oh wait, it's argument and then position, right? That's what we did. So argument will be 10, and we'll say at position three. So we go, uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, blah. And now we have zero, one, two, 10, three, four, five. So it got inserted and it got inserted in the correct place at the third position right there. So our insert at works very well. Um, uh, it's kind of obvious that our uh, our remove at works because uh, this was working just fine and it's the same function by itself so we don't really need to test that. Let's test out clear. Let's say uh, tmpar dot clear. So here's all the stuff, and then nothing. Fantastic. All right, and what's our other function? We have contains and occurs. So let's do occurs. Uh, I will say contains, actually, and we'll put 10. And it will say false on the second one. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> i got to make this into what's echoed out now. And we don't need that anymore or this. So now we can echo out, and it'll say false. 10 is not in there. How about 3? Is 3 in there? Sure is. 3's in there, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do occurs. I think that's how I spelled it. 5. Uh, 3 occurs 5 times. Fantastic. How many times does 1 occur? 5 times, huh? Oh, there we go. It didn't update. All right. 1 time. Perfect. Um, so our arrays work, and you can see, uh, if you've done any game programming, you can see how amazing that is, because 
we just turned our arrays into what is really uh, like a list in in uh, other languages. So, yes, it's uh, one of my favorite um, data types. So, uh, yes, it's working. And now on the next video, we'll get into animation again. I'm sorry about that. Uh, that uh, jip. I don't know what you did. I tricked you. Ha ha. So. Uh, Thanks for watching.